Hey guys, special edition of Cutting Corners for you today. We're taking you behind the scenes. Uh, this is our nitrogen generation special. Yeah, and so there's a lot of different assist gas that we use on the, on the lasers. Depending on the material. Yep. yep, depending on the material. And we use those assist gas as a shield, right? So we're making a better cut for you guys. You guys get a better product out of it. Yep. And there's a couple of assist gas that we use. Oxygen, right? uh, shop air, just yep. high pressure air, and then nitrogen. And nitrogen. Um, today we're gonna focus on nitrogen you know, the, hu uh, the air that we breathe is 78% nitrogen, right? And so we get nitrogen in two main forms. We get it in bulk liquid, yep. and then we also make our own. So let's go and kind of check out how we do that. Sounds good. So here we have 9,000 gallons of liquid nitrogen. If we are not generating, we drain that in two days. Yep. Right, and so if for some reason generation goes down, we're on a lot of phone calls, making sure that we have liquid nitrogen yep. coming and getting filled back up. This system is really cool though. It has its own uh, onboard telemetry, which phones home to our nitrogen supplier. Uh, it lets them know what the tank level is at any given moment so that uh, a truck is always on the way. Uh, however, at this facility, this is our Reno, Nevada facility. We will get some crazy snowstorms every once in a while. Uh, so that's why we generate too. But this is a, a great thing for us to have very high purity, relatively inexpensive for the amount that we use uh, compared to, to generation. So yeah. first step is it's a liquid. This is the fill hose. So when the truck comes in, they tap into this to pump the liquid in and then the liquid comes out through, uh, through this pipe. Yeah. And then it, we're probably not running on liquid right now because usually this is frozen over. Yeah. Yeah, so right now we're running on generation, but then that feed pipe goes into what we call the trifecta. And since this is liquid nitrogen and we need it to be a gas, this is what makes it go through a phase change, changing it over from that liquid to a gas. It actually goes through a pressure change yes. um, to get that differential. And this, this helps us prevent any waste. So with smaller systems in nitrogen, yeah. uh, nitrogen is always boiling off. So in smaller systems, usually you just boil it off to atmosphere and you have a blow off valve when it hits a certain uh, uh, PSI. Here, we're using that pressure to feed it back into the system, convert it back to a liquid so that we don't have any waste. Exactly. Um, and then, so after that stage, then it goes into... Yeah, uh, essentially a big heat sink, right? And so yeah. the heat sink allows us to keep the temperature at the right amount so that it doesn't turn back into a liquid as it enters the building and goes into our system and gets it to yes. a manageable amount. Liquid in our lines will destroy lasers. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now let's go ahead and go into our nitrogen generation room. Let's go. All right. Now here we enter our nitrogen generation room where we make our own nitrogen to supplement that bulk storage. And we want to start off with Essentially, our 110 horsepower air compressor that we have here. Yeah. This big girl. Yeah, this is step one of nitrogen generation. You turned it on by just shoot, touching shoot. it. I have the touch. Uh, so kicking on, we're going to take a very, very high volume of atmosphere uh, and then run it up to about 120, 150 PSI. Goes into this giant buffer tank over here so that we're not getting weird surges that go yeah. through our membrane filters. And it the membrane like a, filters- acts like a reservoir, right, of sorts. Yeah, yeah, so we're not getting shocks to the system. Um, the membrane filters are really the guts of the system. This is the most expensive part of the whole operation. And this is what takes atmosphere and scrubs out the, you can hear it purging right now. It's purging, yeah. Uh, almost pure oxygen. That's just, yeah. just hit it, just take your hits, yeah. <laughs> So we're taking uh, the last 20%, that's oxygen and then trace gases, giving it back to the atmosphere so that we can take that ultra high purity nitrogen uh, and then run it into the plants. Yeah, but, exactly. On the back side of that though, right? So we don't, we have good volume, but we don't have enough pressure that is for the lasers to yes. use. And so that takes us to the next step, that's which fine. is essentially upping the pressure. So we're, we're grabbing all that nitrogen, we're gonna increase the pressure into a second tank and then that's what's gonna allow us to go feed the lasers correctly. Yeah, so we're gonna go from about 150 PSI, leaving the filters Dude. up to about 450 PSI yeah. uh, for use in the plant. So whether we're using uh, generated nitrogen or bulk nitrogen, they're both very high purity so that we can deliver to you the best possible cut quality 
Um, and we have redundancy so that we can meet our lead times, uh, whether we have a snowstorm or we have a power outage or whatever, we can still deliver parts to you super fast. Yeah. So to get a price on your parts, upload your DXF or step file to sendcutsend.com. As always, go check out our merch store. Yeah. Love you. Okay, bye. love you, bye.